Drop the gun! Show me your hand! Here's the weekend shootings report for Memorial Day weekend 2023. Now keep in mind these numbers are for Friday through Monday, and this is the official kickoff weekend for the summer. There were at least 452 reported shootings. And for some perspective, there were at least 350 from just Friday to Sunday. Every other weekend in May was under 300, with last weekend showing 291. So the additional jump of 59 in those three days says a lot and gives us an idea of what we can expect going forward for the summer. There were at least 587 people injured by gunfire and 153 people killed. That's well over twice the number of people injured than last weekend, and over 50 more people killed than last weekend. Granted, there's an extra day, but that's still a huge increase for one week. And of the 452 shootings, arrests were made in 46 of them, so about 10%. Last weekend, arrests were around 12%, so not too much of a drop. So here's the 10 cities with the most shootings, starting at number 10 with Louisville. Louisville reported eight shootings with two deaths and seven injuries and no arrests, at least at the time of the creation of this video. Number nine, Baltimore, eight incidents, one killed and 11 injured, including a mass shooting, again, zero arrests. Number eight, Cleveland, eight shootings, two killed, 10 injured, again, zero arrests as of Tuesday morning that were reported. Number seven, Memphis, nine incidents with one killed and 15 injured, including a mass shooting, and you guessed it, zero arrests. Number six, New York City, 10 incidents, one killed and 11 injured, again, no arrests. Number five, Houston, Texas, 10 incidents, five killed, five injured, and finally we got some arrests with two, three people in two incidents. Number four, Detroit recorded 11 incidents, two killed and 11 injured, and no shocker here, no arrests. Number three, Milwaukee. Milwaukee shows up on this list nearly every week, but has never been higher than the number five spot. But this week's 14 incidents with three killed and 17 injured, including a mass shooting, puts them in the top three. And the city can boast about the one arrest that's been made so far as well. Number two, Philly. This is Philadelphia's second week in a row in the number two spot, and they will likely spend much of the summer here, still doing their best to keep up with Chicago. They tried hard this weekend with 21 incidents, nine deaths and 23 injuries, and a remarkably high one arrest. But it wasn't enough to dethrone the reigning champion who outdid even themselves this weekend. Coming in at number one, the GOAT, Chicago, Illinois, with a whopping 43 incidents, more than doubling Philly, 11 killed and 42 injured, as well as a mass shooting. It was only their seventh mass shooting this year, but the summer has just begun, and they have a few months to catch back up to last year's numbers. 11 were killed and 42 injured, and Chicago pulled off two arrests. The most of all 10 of these cities, except Houston, which also had arrests in two incidents. Doing the math for you, two arrests in 43 shootings is less than 5%. Now, if you were a bad guy in Chicago and you knew there was less than 5% chance you'd be arrested, what would you be out doing on a holiday weekend? So there's your top 10. No real newcomers this week, just a bunch of the usual suspects. Cities like D.C., Kansas City, Jacksonville, and Atlanta were all runners-up and didn't quite make the top 10, but the effort was there. So it's just a matter of time till we see them back here in the top 10 as well. So I'll catch you next week as we continue to follow the degradation of society in America.